Hello everybody and welcome to part 9 of the Halo CE campaign walkthrough series. I am the dominator of the world and we will be continuing this journey in this circular island on Halo. Last time we left off killing a couple of elites in that room we just left and I, I said last time that I was expecting a lot of Covenant on the ground here but apparently I was wrong. There were only two. And yes, it is indeed fun to run over the Covenant in Halo 1. So you're going to continue along the path, and it's pre pretty straightforward. There's pretty much not nothing to say about it, like except just keep going straight, and don't turn around. Firing! Um, if it seems that you've gone into it in a circle, you probably have, since this is a circular island. Alright, right here you're going to, in this plateau area, you're going to be facing a pretty large Covenant force. They consist of quite a bit of grunts, two elites I think, and a couple of jackals. The jackals were, are the real problem because they move around a lot and they're pretty agile. They jump around all over the place and it's pretty hard to hit them, or shoot them for that matter. So, the, you can handle this group however you want to, but my strategy is that I left the Warthog um, with a turret facing the outside of the plateau, on the plateau, on the edge of it, and the gunners fended for themselves. Meanwhile, I jumped off of it and uh, attempted to take the Covenant on ground. I actually managed to do it my second time, but I skipped most of that. As you can see, the gunner didn't last very long since his health bar was only at one bar. But the other gunner is unrational. He didn't really realize he could leave the Warthog and ended up dying because of that. But oh well. Alright. Needlers are good against Covenant. In fact, all Covenant weapons are good against their own kind. Alright, you don't need to worry about the Warthog getting destroyed, because there's another Warthog um, somewhere along the beach. In fact, it's very close, and I'll take you to it after I finish killing all of these guys. Now, you will run into the problem of shooting through the trees. There are some areas in this small uh, pack of woods where you won't, your bullets won't be able to go past the small gaps in the trees, and I would imagine that's because the techn technology back in uh, 2004, or whenever the Halo CE was made, wasn't as precise, as realistic, as it would be in Halo 3 or Halo Reach. Um, however, it's not that big of a deal, you can just walk around, or you could just charge. Alright, now I'm done with that group, and we're gonna go to the Warthog. It is an abandoned, well, more like screwed Warthog, there are a ton of dead UNSC Marines here. There will be a health pack and plenty of ammunition and human guns, which of course I will pick up instead of the Covenant guns, just because I like human guns. They are cooler, in a way, in their own way. Well, now that I've lost my last Warthog and my last set of Marines, I'm going to have to go back to get more. Yes, and that big building that you just saw in the sky is where I'm supposed to go. I'll take you through the path there, it's kind of hidden. It's where you just killed that last Covenant group. That's where you have to go. I remember last time I did this level, I ended up going around the, the island like five times before I realized I had to go through that path. Alright, now we've picked up a new set of Marines. Hopefully these guys won't die. They haven't yet, so far. Alright. Now we have to go back the way we came. It's pretty boring. I probably could have taken a bit of um, shots of the scenery around this area. You can see the rest of the Halo ring. Um, and it's pretty cool to look at. That's one of the famous things about Halo, is the Halo ring, obviously. There it is, you can see it right there. Oh, gone. Okay. Unfortunately, the path that you have to go through, the the warthog can't fit through it. It's too uh, narrow. And there's a big tree stuck in the middle of it. It's pretty inconvenient. You're going to have to get off the warthog. And your marines, unfortunately, will follow you and they'll probably die. Um, at least mine followed me. But I don't think they've died yet. I don't remember. Alright, once you start going up, there's going to be more covenant um, troops. Most of them will consist of only grunts and elites, 
there might be a couple of jackals. And in this one area, you'll find some hunters, but they're really easy to take down in that area. Unbelievably easy. Oh, that elite just won't die. I wonder how many times I've shot it in the head before it actually died. Alright, I'm already low on ammo with my pistol. I tend to use the pistol more than any other UNSC gun whenever I do have it. And it's just because in Halo 1, it was so powerful. It was probably second um, in UNSC weapons to the shotgun only. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of all the other guns. Well, mine is a rocket launcher, of course. You can't count that with all the other guns since it is an explosive. Um, but... Oh, the sniper rifle. It's third, then. So. But pistol is my... The pistol in Halo CE is my favorite gun. Alrighty. I think we're done with that group. Or not. Let's f continue killing them. Of course, you will be able to tell whenever they're coming up or you're coming to them because of your radar. You should always keep your eyes on the radar to make sure when enemies will come up so you don't get ambushed or you don't, or you just fall into a bunch of, a giant group of, uh, Covenant. Alright, this is the area where you will face it, two hunters. They usually carry in packs or travel in packs, and there will be these Marines here. They apparently died. Apparently. Um, there will be more ammo for your pistol, as you can see. In fact, a lot of it. 120 um, rounds. Wow. Or clips, whatever. Okay, once you get more ammo, you should unload on the hunters first with that pistol, since it can zoom in and attack from long range. Then you go back to your needler, if you ended up picking your, up a needler. There are two health packs here, and... Since you got one from the Warthog, you shouldn't be that low on health, so you, I don't recommend you do get one like I did, but I did it on accident. So, uh, it's, it's probably not wise. Use your plasma grenades, as always, against these hunters. They do a lot of damage against them. Alright, I picked up an overshield. There are two of them, thankfully, which makes it even more easier to kill these guys. You do have to be careful, though, because hunters do kill. I mean, they do hurt a lot. And they you can see that he just drove right through my overshield pretty easily. Alright. I don't remember these hunters being this easy, even on normal. But oh well. Let's see how a needler does against them. Hmm. Pretty good. I like the explosions. If you... You, if you shoot enough, you can take down a hunter in about five explosions, if you shoot enough. They have to be pretty big explosions, too, like I just did. By the end of this, you'll probably be out of ammo for your needler, so you will want to go back to the pistol. Alright, and that is the end of you, my friend. Goodbye, you orange blood freak. Alright, once you're done with that, you shouldn't be that low on health if you use your overshields, so again, don't use the health packs just yet. You might need them for later on, and I will show you why, maybe. Alright, I think that is the end of this episode, so I will see you guys next time. Please like it if you did like it, and I'll see you in an upcoming video. See you guys later.